Hi friends, my name is Meredith and today we're going to be reading about one of my favorite things, magical creatures in the book, Miss Tori's Magic Creatures. And this book is written by Joy Keller, so she's the author, and it is illustrated by Richard Watson. So he drew all the pictures. And I love the title of this book because Miss Tori is a name, but what word does it sound like? Miss Tori, mystery, and magic creatures right in the title. So I know I'm going to like this book, and I hope you do too. Let's see what happens with Miss Tori's magic creatures. You there, peeking in my window, don't be shy. Please come explore. Meet Miss Tori's magic creatures, pets you've never seen before. Some have feathers, some have fur, some have skin that's scaly too. My motto is my guarantee. I have the pet that's right for you. Well, if you could have a magic creature as a pet, what would it be? Hmm. I wonder if they're in this book. I don't think you'd have what I... Of course I have your pet in stock. I've given you my guarantee. I always find the perfect match. Watch your step and follow me. Are you here because you're lonely? Buy yourself a unicorn. Every kid will run to see a pony with a rainbow horn. Dress her up and braid her mane. Flaunt your fashion forward filly. Won't you take this beauty home? I want a pet that's fun, not frilly. Now this is a pet that I'm pretty sure we would take home in my family, but not the pet for this friend. So let's see what's next. Clearly you're a kid with taste. Unicorns are so last year. I believe there's something newer waiting for you over here. See this tiny baby dragon? She's the very first to hatch. If you're looking for a playmate, she would be your perfect match. This is another one I think we'd want to take home too. We love dragons in my house. Watch her fly and climb and wrestle. How she loves to exercise. Would you like to pick her up? I don't think that's very wise. I'll admit she's hard to tame. Petting her could be a struggle. Maybe what you really need is something sweet that you can snuggle. Don't be frightened when you see this hydra that has seven heads. He's really quite affectionate with seven times the love to spread. He'll hug, 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 hug. He'll squeeze you tight with all he's got. Will he go home with you today? It looks to me like maybe not. Let's see what the next creature is. Part of him is fancy fish, and part of him is gallant steed. So saddle up this hippo camp. I'd get too seasick at that speed. Then settle down and watch a show. Behold the phoenix taking flight. She'll show you, she'll wow you with amazing stunts. I should have mentioned she ignites. So as you can see, the phoenix is igniting. It is lighting on fire. That's what they do. But it looks like other things are catching fire too. Oh dear. But wait, don't go. There's more to see. I always back my guarantee.
a Pegasus that you can ride? That flight would leave me terrified. A puppy that knows lots of tricks? I couldn't throw that many sticks. These griffins make a charming pair. One pet is all that I can bear. This helpful kraken likes to clean. I'd rather take a bath unseen. We also like the kraken a lot in my house and the pegasus too. Lots of our favorite magical creatures are in this one. Nessie's good at hide and seek. Sasquatch hikes the tallest peaks. Golems can be tons of fun. Chimera's like three pets in one. Or maybe, maybe, what's the use? I'm out of pets to introduce. Hey, you have one after all. It seems that you're referring to that creature sleeping on the chair. Please forget you ever saw it. Promise me you'll leave it there. Hmm. I wonder what the creature is sleeping on the chair. It won't fetch or give you hugs or greet you at your welcome mat. Its claws and fangs are dagger sharp. Don't pick it up. Don't touch that. What do you think it is? I love it. Um, as I was saying, precious kitty, gorgeous fur. Listen to that soothing purr. She's on sale half off today. You won't be sorry buying her. Just one thing that I should mention. One last thing we should review. Oh, never mind. I've done my job. I found the pet that's right for you. So it looks like our friend is going home with a cat, but look! <laughs> that cat seems to have some magic too. And then at the end, if you have access to this book, you can read all about the magic creatures in this book, which I love because I love magic creatures. And so many of the magic creatures in this book are ones that we would love to have in our home living with us. <laughs> My family and I would love that. So I hope you enjoyed Miss Tori's Magic Creatures. And I can't wait to read with you again next time. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.